Hi, I'm Jody Hand, Mrs. Hand Painted, and welcome to my YouTube channel here where I show you how to paint in watercolors. I am doing a whole series of Christmas cards for my Christmas in July watercolor card tutorials, and this one today is a fun little experiment I did uh, with a wet and wet technique, and I'll show you how you can create these cool glowing holiday lights card. It's really fun and it's easier than you think. So why don't you paint along with me and enjoy! We are going to start out by getting our Strathmore watercolor cards that we've been using for all of these cards in the series. And I've got my masking tape and I'm just going to tape this off. And the reason I'm taping this one off is because we're going to be doing a wash of water across the entire background and I don't want my paper to curl up. So I'm going to make sure I tape down all sides of the front of my card. So I'm putting a tape down the middle of that where the fold is. And then I'm just giving myself a, a really thin little border around the edge and uh, just make sure you're taping down all four sides so that we don't have our paper buckling or curling up on us. And this is just regular artist's masking tape. You could use washi tape as well if you don't have masking tape, um, but it's relatively inexpensive at art supply stores or even places like Target, Walmart, you can buy some masking tape that, or just painter's tape if you wanna use that. The blue tape works really good. All right, I'm just gonna gather up some of my brushes here and then we can get started. I've got um, a couple different wash brushes here. This one is a Princeton Neptune and oops, I still had a little bit of red in that, but that's okay. <laughs> I didn't get that washed out as good last time as I thought I did. So I'm just putting some clean water that's not red <laughs> across this uh, background and just give me, uh, give yourself an even wash I'm just giving it a, oh, excuse me, I'm just putting a really even wash of clean water across that, making sure there's no puddles. And now I'm gonna go uh, with my round size eight brush. This is a Princeton Neptune round eight. And I'm gonna splatter some colors across this in the colors I want my Christmas lights to be. So I'm gonna do red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And I'm just splattering. And then I'm picking a few of those little splatter spots to just uh, kind of add the, the background glowing part. So just kind of make yourself a little pointed oval shape and just, just let that bleed. This is gonna be our glow behind our lights. This is just our first layer and then we'll be painting over to get more of our light shape on top. So I'm just gonna go through my colors here, did the red. Now I'm mixing up some orange here. Um, I've got like a permanent red deep with a deep yellow and just kind of make um, some orange and then again, splatter and pick a couple splattery spots and just make a pointed oval and let that bleed. Uh, we do wanna work pretty quickly in this step of it because if we're doing five different colors, we wanna make sure that the uh, wash that we laid down doesn't dry before we get to the end because then that last color of lights we're gonna do is not gonna give us that nice little glow look. It'll be uh, very sharp edges and it won't bleed like we want it to. So uh, you do wanna just kinda get your colors ready to go and start splattering and get it down as quickly as possible so that your background doesn't dry on you. So here I'm doing green. This is um, a sap green. And I don't care if it goes to here. You can see it's already starting to dry a little bit. So I'm not getting as good of a bleed there as I wished, but try to do this as quickly as possible. Here I'm just adding a little more water around that just to get that to bleed because that one was pretty um, sharp edges right there. All right, and I'm doing a little bit of blue. And just use whatever colors you want, your primary color palette. Um, this one is a phthalo blue. So trying to do something with a little more brighter colors, make it really festive. Oh, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dry this really quickly here. And uh, then I can go ahead and do my next step over the top of this to get this nice sharp details. I need this to be nice and dry so that these next layers won't bleed into that wet background. And if you don't have a heat tool like this, your hair dryer would work, or um, if you have a place to set this off to the side, tape down to a piece of cardboard and just set it off to the side for a while and then come back to it. If you're making multiples of these cards, I, I do recommend just doing 
uh, one at a time, honestly, on this, unless you can work very, very quickly on the splatter part because it may dry before you get to the last card and the last color and you'll have to keep re-wetting it. So this is one that's kind of hard to do in assembly line style unless you're making maybe two at a time, the max. All right, so now you can really, really see the nice little bleeds that we got for the for the background glowing part. Now, I, I mixed up extra of each of those colors as I was going. I'm sorry, I don't have my palette on the screen for you. I wanted to zoom in more on the card. So using my round eight brush, now I'm going to do that light shape. It's kind of an oval that's pointed on one end and more rounded on the back side. I'm just going to go over the spots that I made my little glowing marks, my bigger blobs of color in the background, and I'm going to make my Christmas light shapes over the top of that. And it's all right if they're not perfect. This is just kind of a loose style card that we just want to be really uh, vibrant and just kind of uh, loose style. So I'm doing some of my orange. And I kind of varied up. I didn't do the same amount of very color. Um, just kind of varied it up and did random bits all over. All right, so that yellow, I think um, this is like a Hansa Yellow Deep that I used for that one. It might have been mixed with a little bit of the lemon yellow or the light yellow too, just to give me a little bit lighter color, be a little bit different than the orange. And then I've got my sap green. And I tried to just vary up the direction of my lights as well, so they're not all pointing the same way. I just wanted it to look like a big old tangle of Christmas lights. So they're all pointing different directions. I have my pointed end, sometimes going to the left, to the top, to the bottom, the right. And then I have my last color, which is that, um, this is a phalo blue. And I kind of just wanted to let the, the blobs that I made kind of guide me on where I would play, place the points of the lights as well. So this one was kind of off the edge. So I just kind of went along with that. I'm gonna go ahead and dry this layer now so that my next layer doesn't bleed again. So I'll need to do the um, the little connector parts of the lights, I guess, uh, or the, and draw all the cords around it. Uh, and I decided that instead of painting those parts on, I was gonna draw it on to make like more of a doodly card. So I am gonna be using a Pigma Micron pen to do this last part. Uh, this is just a, a waterproof pen that you can, has a finer point, but if you just wanted to use a marker, I mean, this is just a greeting card. It's not a fancy piece of artwork that I need to be light fast and save forever. So just use whatever art supplies you have at home to make this. All right, so Pigma Micron Pen. It's a fine point. And I'm using the, the size 0 0.05 one. So I'm just kind of making like a rectangle at the base of my light and then doing a couple lines across it just to make some little doodled uh, Christmas light the, where the lights connect in. So I don't know what that part is called. If you know, put a, something in the comments and correct me and educate me on electrical components, please. So, <laughs> all right, so rectangle, draw one or two lines inside of it just to make your little doodles there. And then after we finish putting one of those on every single one of our light bulbs, we can draw some cords in. And I, I mean, if you wanted to, you can figure out a way to make one long continuous strand here. I just kind of doodled across and made some little squiggly lines and curly cues and, and just tried to connect all the lights up in some way. And I have multiple strands going across. So I just kind of did some little doodle lines and some curly cues and 
just kind of go across the whole card front. And if you don't want to do twirly lines through everywhere, just uh, do it however you feel you would like it to go. So And I'm just going to keep going across the card until I've got all of these connected. And like I said, they're not all in one string. I just kind of have some going off the edge and it's multiple sets just coming all over the place. And I just kind of drew swirly lines all over the place. And I might have missed, I think I missed one in here too. So that's okay. And then the last part will just be peeling off the tape. This is all dry now, so it shouldn't, uh, oh, sorry. I actually need to write a little sentiment over here. I have left kind of a, a more blank area off to the left-hand corner up here, so I can just write Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, or if you can think of something really clever that goes with Christmas lights, go ahead and write something. I'm sure there's lists upon lists online that you could find for greeting card sentiments for Christmas. I just went with the generic Merry Christmas. Now I can peel the tape off. <laughs> And to avoid ripping your paper, you want to pull that at a really nice sharp angle and hold your paper down so it doesn't move. Otherwise, you will maybe peel some of the paper off sometimes if you're not careful. You can fold that in half and call that done. All right, thanks for painting along with me, guys. I've had a lot of fun making these Christmas cards in July. It's really brightened my spirit, and I hope it's brightened your mood as well. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. I have a whole series of these Christmas in July cards, and uh, I'll be going back out of some Christmas stuff here very soon. So if you're getting tired of Christmas, you don't have to worry. I have some more coming really soon. Thanks for watching.